a good juggler, but sometimes it's like, even for me, a different moment, a different good. I, I just, you know, just whatever, whatever, whatever. So what did you have to catch up last week? I didn't, did. I was there. I was on last week. Oh, did I not have you? Oh, I didn't have you marked. Okay. Okay. That's, and I didn't ask you to read, did I? No. no, I guess I didn't see you. Well, you had your picture on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, do I owe you? You owe me uh, 21. No, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. I'm a very good we're listener. Yeah, yeah. Dawn doesn't get these vowels yet, so we're ashamed. I'm a very good listener. Um, very good listener. Yeah, good, good. That's well, a good thing. Wait, Thank was you. That, All right. other, was that woman able to print out the um, the book? You know, there's a, someone in the yeah, class. Fun. I know. I rather see people, but I let me just grab that thing while I'm doing this. She was African American. Yes, it's Dawn. Let me. How it is, Judy? Good morning, ladies. Okay, so we <laughs> we begin class. We it is yes. Now it is. From the beginning, I think on. I stopped it, and then it starts, oh. and I whatever. Someone else cleans it up. We we have a cleanup monitor. That's not me. Thank God. That far advanced, I'm not on the computer stuff. So we began last week on page 28, but well, we ended on page 28 just to look at the letter Koof. I it's the only letter that I could think of that goes longer than my box. It's the it, it doesn't really look like anything, you know. Except on our cheat sheet, it has, if you make that right-hand side go back down again, it would almost look like a K. I, not a great descriptive of why you're going to remember this is Kuf, but it is. And so it's a K sound, and we started to look at it, but we weren't going to go really into it. So we're going to do a couple of letters. We've got another vowel. We're going to master the Shabbat today. We're going to do Shalom Aleichem today. Lots to do. So right. let's take a look at page 28. And does Dawn, you still don't have the book? It's okay. It's uh, all right. Okay, everybody see it? Mm -hmm. Get bigger mm -hmm. and we have to go to page. Hold on one second. Margie, I was saying I'm good because I, I can pull my page up and I'm still, I can still see you. Uh, all right. All right. So if everybody has the book, Dawn, you're saying you do have one. You yep. can pull the page. You can pull the page up. Perfect. Even even better. Perfect. So this way I get to see you all. So on page twenty eight mm -hmm. is the coof. K O O. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Write it in the box. And let's just do this. Um, there's really it doesn't look like anything else. So you just have to learn it. It's okay. And there it is. So kiki, kk, ka, ka, ko, ko, poo, poo. And so all those vowels. I'm just going to mute you or mute you on while the baby's talking. Mama. We'll see, mom. Hi, sweetheart. Let me, I can. I'm sorry. I, that's all right. I muted you. Okay. But when it's your turn, you can, I'll unmute you. So again, those vowels, you should know them by now. These are the, and if you did the color chart, you should really know them by now. So again, it's key. I tried it. Ah, you did it. I I couldn't okay. finish it because I don't have aqua and I, a couple of others. So I'm, I'm going to look for them. I think I have them in my classroom. Or, or go find classroom. a four-year-old on the block that might have the box of crayons and find yeah. the aqua. Um, mm -hmm. But it's easy that way, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. key, one dot, one dot with the yud. A, A is KK. One, two dots, side to side, side to side with the yud. F, little bowling thing, three fingers. F. The, the line and the straight little T thing, ah, uh, ah, uh, an mm -hmm. O above it, and or the V above it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where you are. Line one. one. Uh, okay, okay. I'm lost. You're lost already? Line one, what page line? 20. Line 28. one, page 28. Page 28, what line? Yes, the first line. I just want to review those vowels with you. And just again, the, the the dot above it, and or the vav with the dot above it is an o. And the last two were the new thing we learned last week. It's an oo. Three dots are uh, diagonally going to the right from the bottom, 
or the poof, I'm sorry, or the vav with the dot in it, like somebody punched him in the belly and he'd go, oh. So there you go. Those are your vowels. So now we're going to go quickly through the page. This Margie, is Margie yeah? question. Forgive me. Could you just read the last three letters of line one? Yes, thank you. Absolutely. I'll do the whole thing. I'll do it all so that okay, John can thank find you. It. He, and I'll go slowly now. Thank he, you. He, he, K, 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 Thank you. You're yes. very welcome. So let's go to line two. All right, Marilee, while you're on, go to line two. Okay. Uh, call. Yes. Come. It would never on, be this. On. Yes. It's the wrong on. shape for the name, but in this example, correct. Con. On. Car. Yes. Kosh. Yes. Uh, ka. No, K. No, no. I'm back. Uh, ka. No. So the Tav has a toe. It's an. It's not the H. It's not the silent H at the end. It's a T. So it's oh, okay. Kat. Kat. Thank Kat you. Has the little, the Tav has the little toe. Kat. Right. right. And um. Car. No, I'm so glad you made those both mistakes. I, no, I am. That's all right, because she gave it an R, which is rounded. This has a little dent. It's the dollar. Right, right. So help me out. Do the last two again. Con. Con. No. No. No, it's not. Tell me what it is. The last um, two in your line is cut and cod. Cod. Oh, okay. it's the D. The D, right. Yes. And and I'm glad you made that mistake because, again, you have to take note of that font and notice the difference between the dollar and the race. The race is nice and rounded at that top on the right. The dollar has a little dent in it. So they look really similar. The race. Go ahead. Line five. One, two, three, four. Um, um, no, that's not right. There it is. Number four, exactly. Line five is exactly the difference. There's your race. Look at the difference between line five, the fourth word, and line two, the last word. You see the race and the dial are different? Mm -hmm. Well, there's also a race in line two, the fourth letter in line two. Oh, there you We didn't have to go down that far. You're right. There you go. Thank you. So there it is on line two, car and cod. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'm glad you, because trust me, other people have done the same thing. Judy, why don't you do line three? Line three, okay. Oh, cod, 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 um, dish, Yes. Kaddish. Yes. It was prepping you to get to that word, Kadish. It was breaking it apart and syllable by syllable. Say it again, please. Sure. It's Kad, 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 Ka, Dish. Kadish. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nina, I want to do four. Yeah, sure. Um, Code, code, code. No, no, no. no. It's cod. First is, it's cod, right? No, it isn't. It's code. Close. Code. No. No. Cade. Cade. <laughs> Cade. <laughs> is it keyed? Oh, it's keyed. Yeah. It's keyed. <laughs> it's keyed, 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 keyed. No, oh, we're running out of house to try, but that. <laughs> yes. Key, key, do, it's dosh and kadosh. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. let's, let's do line four again. Keed, 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 keed. Douche, 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 
There you go. I'm glad you, know, you made that. I guess I get it one way. That's all right. Joan, anytime you want to read, just oh. raise that hand. I'll unmute you. You want to try it? All right. Hold on one second. Line five. Let me unmute Dawn. Unmute. Hmm. You're not unmuting. You want to unmute yourself? Uh, yeah. Ah, Dawn, where'd you go? He's muted. There we go. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Try line five, Dawn. Line five. You are. Uh -huh. Wait a minute. I... Call. Yes. Calm. Yep. I made it calm. It's an no. It shouldn't the final shape, it. but yeah. Yeah. Con. Yeah. Con. Yeah. What's the next one? What's the fourth one? Ka. Ka. Oh, you're at the next one. Ka okay, ka oh, it's hard to say, kosh. Kosh. Yep. Oh. Ka kosh. No, no, the next Wait to the minute. last comes with a T. A oh, ton. that's what it is, pot. pot. Cot, like a sleeping cot. on a cot? Right, cot. And the last word is pop. 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 It's still the ka. The beginning of each word was the ka. ka. Practice. And what's that last letter? That's the one that Mary Lee thought it was a ratio, but it's a dollar, it's a D. So what is right. that? That's pod. Ka cod. Cod. Cod, like the fish that I don't eat. Cod. Right, cod. Mm -hmm. there you I love, go. I love codfish. You go. Oh, well, there you go. All right. Karen, we love, oh, where's Karen? I see a little bit of a kepi. Okay. Karen, you want to try six? Sure. Thank you. Kepi? Yes. Kepi. Everybody look at it. It's going to be a sight word. Kedush. Kedush. All right. So it's Kadish. 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 He douche, but the same root, which is a, it means holy. So it's just how it's put out. The, the, the root of that word is holy. So that's why the he douche, Kaddish, um, they have the same, you know, saying Kaddish versus the Kaddush, like you're drinking the wine. It's that same root. So you just have, it'll be a little different with that same root. Who's up for seven? Bonnie, an easy one. I don't know about that, but let's see. Okay. Uh, car. No. No. Cod. Oh, Cod. yes. Cod. Look at that. Cod. Right. Cock. Cod. 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 Ka. Dosh. Yes. Cod. Do, dosh. That's right. Perfect. 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 Vilma. Love that name. Oh, oh you can't be. You. you got the word three times. Go ahead. Kadosh. 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 Good. Lift up your feet. Kadosh. Yep. Kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. <laughs> kadosh, kadosh, kadosh. Very good. You will remember that. All right. Rosaline, ready for us to find nine. It's the same word, honey, three times. So once you master the first one, you got it down. Can you all hear me? I'm getting a signal on my computer that my system is low. Can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Rosalind, line nine. You want me to do line nine? I do, dear. Hakadosh. Yes. Hakadosh, Hakadosh. <laughs> Excellent. All right, and we do the last one together. Hakadosh. Ha -ha Say it again, please. Ha, 
There you go. Where does it come from? Look at line 11 and 12. Barachuni Lishalom Malache Hashalom Malache El Yon. Line 12. Me, 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 Excellent. Excellent. Let's go to the next page. Buzzing right along. Wait, wait, wait. wait. That does not exist in English. Margie, 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 could you just read the, the third word in line 12? Well, one could debate it, but one could ask, why is it not Hamalachim, but it's Hamlachim, and I'll tell you why, because after we learn the next letter, we're going to talk all about the Shiva, the two dots up and down, has 96 rules. So just trust me on this one, right. it's Hamlachim, but would it be wrong if you said Hamalachim? Not really, but there are rules for the Shiva. I got pages of rules to teach you. Oh, I cannot wait. It's a problem. Okay. All right. New letter page. Who knows what? I lost track what we're on. I can't 29. see my letter page. 29. 29. Atsadi doesn't exist in English. It's a TZ. Like if your grandmother went, TZ. You know, tzitzis. You can think of words you know that would have a TZ sound. Sadaka. Starts yeah. with the mm -hmm. um, What is it? <laughs> so we can go to well, half the Yiddish words probably have it. Um, yeah, right. So in your little black uh, line box, if you mm -hmm. wanted it, spell Sadi, S T Z, T A T E E, you know, it's however you want to spell it. However, you can remember how to say it. But the letter is Sadi. What is it? Sadi? Sadi. But it has the sound of a TZ. The only letter you're going to screw it up with is an iron, which doesn't look like it. But if you're not paying attention, it looks like it. Go to line three, the first word. I'm going to just start you off with the mess. And there is Sadi next to an iron. And one say they're similar in the scheme of some letters that don't look at all like this. I could understand how you might confuse them, but don't forget an ayin is silent and Sadi is not. But there, take a good look at that first word in line three and it's just say because the ayin is silent. But look mm -hmm. at them and I, I, you know, could you say they're similar? I guess you could. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I, I, similar enough that people confuse them. So obviously it's going to be a whole page of Sadi, so don't get too confused because that's what this book does. So if we go to line one, and again, this is for Dawn to get to Tansian. Line one uh, is always just the letter we're learning with that vowel. So I'll do it slowly again. Mm -hmm. C, C, say. Say, se, sa, sa, so, so, su, su. And again, if you just, all those line ones in every new page is always a letter with all the vowels you know so far. Mm -hmm. And then like who combines it sometimes with a little bit of stuff. So who am I up to, Marilee? Be missing and oh, and is still not here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Just want to make sure I don't miss her because apparently last week I didn't see Marilee. I didn't ask her to do one line, <gasps> so we're gonna make it up today. That's all right. She all right. she's quick. Okay, so just do line two. It's very easy, and there it is. Okay. Um, say, and the olive is is silent. Always silent. Unless it has a vowel, then it takes the sound of the vowel. Okay. Say, start. Uh, no, no. The third oh, one is not a, The third one is not a T? No. 
Oh, D. It's the one I yes. missed. Yes. Yes. It's the one I did each time. Side. Okay. Yes. Side, right. Okay. Oh, poor Dawn would have so much trouble with this between the TZ and that and the hook sound that Dawn loves. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> poor girls. They have to play. She got to read this line. Okay. We're on the fourth word of line two. So, barely keep going. All right. All right. Say, say that. Say no, do the one before it. Um, say? It's say. That's silent, right? Like, the, no, 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 wait. Line, Let line. me just make sure we're in the same place. Line two, the fourth one, is right. like if my grandmother said you don't have sechel, you'd be putting right. that C-Z yeah. and the sound together. Say. Like, well, no, say. Say. <laughs> really? I, I, I do a, not. It's like I yeah. can't even write this without spitting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Say. Okay. Sale. Yes. Sim. Yes. Um, sin. No. Sin. Yeah. Sin. Even though that sin. nun would never be. There it is. And, if you look like the, this way. <laughs> right. That, okay. That's the one. So the last one's not the set. It's set. Right? The last two the are saying never and have none as a the next to the last one on line two. We never uh -huh. have it spelled that way because we'd only want to shape of the final none. But it's just practicing the end to remember having you remember they're both ends. So those two were the same. Same, same. Same, same, same. same. With an N, yeah, but it would never be spelled like that, right? Okay. And we're getting that. Everybody got it. So Judy, why don't you be lying for it? No. Thank you for me. I'm glad you did it wrong because there she has the two together. So what's the sound of that word? What's the beginning letter? The new okay. letter, Sadi. Oh, yeah. So say. Say. Good. Say. Uh, second letter in that word is an A. It's silent. Silent? Okay. Yeah. Say. Ayan and, Al Ayan and Aleph are not like the letter A in English. It has its own sound. Ayan and Aleph that both start in English with the letter A are just silent letters. They yes. only take the sound of the vowel. And if there's no vowel, it goes to the syllable ahead. And it's still silent. Okay, say. Say. Good. Say. Say. Good. Correct. Say, say, wait. The, the third Steak. one is say. Word. No, no, she's only up to the second one. Say. Uh, oh, the second yep. one? On three? Say. say line oh, three, line third you? word. What line? Line three, oh. third word. Thank you. Say You're her. welcome. Good, good. Say good, good, good. There's your top, everybody who wanted to say it before. So again, line four. Let's do uh, Nina. Yeah. Say, 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 say. say. To him. To him. Very good. Um. Say to him. Say to him. Say to him. So we're gonna have that's right. Say to him, It's one of those new words on the alternate verses of Shalom Aleichem. The last verse starts with say to him. Excellent. And let's and yeah. It's say look at that fourth word. Uh, last word on line four. Say to him. Say to him. Okay. Line five, take a deep breath. Kat, you want to do it? Yeah. <clears throat> say, 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 Good. Say, Perfect. Perfect. Now let's go to the bottom. I'm going to mute. Let's do guys. Hold on one minute. 
I lost you. Let me just mute for a moment. John. Okay. Um, Sorry. So let's go to the bottom of this. Mar Margie, rather than, can I? Yeah. Ask, at the top of the page. What's the goal at the top of the page? Is that say to him? Yes. Say to him mm -hmm. because we're going to do it right now at the bottom. Oh, mitzvah. That's another word that has a tzadi in it. Mitzvah. Right. Mm -hmm. And Sadaka, we already said that. So now let's look at the bottom. If we were looking at the song, which is on page one, but let's not go backwards for a moment, although it is on page 30. The line, line one, line three, line five, and line seven of the song are right there at the bottom. Okay, because the two, four, six, eight is me, Malach, Malach. That's the same. So line one, three, five, seven, the only difference is that first word. And it took us all these weeks to get to say to him, which is the first word of the last line of the whole thing right there. See it? <clears throat> so if we were to say lines one, three, five, seven, we only have to know the four first words because the rest are the same. Everyone see that? All right. So Vilma, just read me the first word of all those four lines. Shalom. Mm -hmm. um, Bachem. Good. Barch Barchun Barchuni. Barachuni. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do it again. Bonnie, do the same thing. Okay. Uh, shalom. Uh, what's the first vowel on the after the B? Bo. Right? Okay. Bo. Okay. Boachem. Boachem. Um, Barhum Abuni. Good. And Saitzem. 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 You need to the Shiva that I'll teach you the rule in a minute, but in this word it's Saitzem. So it has to All be right. the Buy it. First word of each of those four lines. What? Who? Okay. The first word of the four lines at the bottom. Just the first word of each of those four lines. Who do you want to do that? You, dear. Uh, me? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Okay. Shalom. Okay. Shalom to you. <laughs> uh, Boachem. Good. Bar. Bar. Huni. Yes. Say to him. Perfect. Okay. Karen, do the whole first line, just the first line. Okay. Shalom Aleichem Mal Achim Hasha Rat. Hasha. What's the vowel? Two dots next to each other. Hasha Rat. That's right. Hasha Rat. Do line two. Very good, Karen. Do line two, Vilma. The whole line. Oachem, the Shalom, Malachi, 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 Hashalom. Good, good, good. We'll get it. We'll get it. We're, you're doing okay. great, guys. Now, Bonnie, want to try three? Okay. Barhuni, le Shalom, Malachi, Hashalom. Perfect. Judy, do you find line seven? Hey. No, that's not right. Yeah, yeah, it is. We don't want it to be right, but it is. Okay. Shalom, mal, shalom. Perfect. Dawn, let me unmute you. Well done, sweetheart. I'm coming back to you. You're going to do more next. Hold on, honey. I muted you now. Hey, what is it? Unmute yourself, Dawn. I'm sorry. I keep I keep muting you and unmute yourself so you can do something too. 
Okay, I was saying the kids were here. So I'm gonna <laughs> step out. Oh, oh, you're gonna step out again? Okay, all right. So let's go to page 30 for a moment. Let me just watch the time. Where's my time thing? Oh, good, 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 we got plenty of time. Okay, so let's try to sing this as best as we can. I have to come up with a, a, a note that I And sometimes you don't. So in this case, it's L, like you know, L from uh, Legally Blonde. L, yon. The yud is not part of the lamed vowel. The yud stands by itself, and the yud's vowel is the long o. Mm -hmm. Look, let let's not sing this for a moment. Look at that first last word on line one. Everybody, the syllable is the ayin and the lamed together. That's your first syllable, L. And then the yud is sitting there. You would have thought it belonged to the lamid, but it doesn't. The yud has its own sound with the o vowel ending in, a, in an n. L yon. Mm -hmm. Betty, see that? Mm -hmm. We don't have to. Let's take it apart. Let's skip around. Let's look at line three. Um, mm -hmm. All right, just the same. Look at the last word of each of those four lines of that one, mm -hmm. three, five. Seven. L own. L yon. Everybody look at L yon. And in, in all fairness, I, I could see why you wouldn't have thought it was, but it's just not. It's just not. So now let's look at the line two and let's go to the last word and make sure you're saying who, like who are you, not who. Some people make that a pet and it's not, it's an H, it's a hey. Ooh. Baruch, and it's not Baruch Hu, like you're doing the Aliyah. Baruch Hu, at that annoy, that's not it. This is no. Baruch Hu, because the H has the hole in it on that line. Ooh. So a lot of people miss say it, and if you've done it by root, you're probably saying Baruch Hu, like you do on the Aliyah. Baruch Hu, at that annoy. No, it's Baruch Hu. Everybody mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to skip singing this for a moment. I think it's time for us to suffer through the Shabbat. And let's see if we can. Oh, here, go to page 32. Just again, look at the difference of the letters. The, the Tav and the Hay. And just make sure you see that the Hay has the hole and the Tav has the toe. That does not make a difference in the Tav letter. Only time. All right, a tav and a, and a hay. Mm -hmm. All right, because that's important that you know that. Okay, and we've done it, but there's a whole page. If you want to practice and you're not so sure, go back and practice page 32. Yes, Judy. You have to unmute, honey. I didn't mute you. You might have muted yourself. I did. I did. The T at the top. The top is it the top? name and it's only because this author didn't want to write I don't I so some people will say Hashem some will say I don't know when I'm practicing to feel a prayer I say I don't know you know what God can sue me um Wait. because otherwise you're not going to know what to say in services My it's, it's is, of course I am writing God's name but it's not a hey it, it's one would not say it if they're just practicing but we're going to say it because I want you to know what it is yeah go ahead my Judy. question is at the top of page 32, the T. Um, it, what is that a tet? What letter are we learning? Oh. The one with the dot in the middle. Learning. 
Yeah. No, no. It's first of all, it's a tav. We learned mm -hmm. that already. Yeah. It's T A V for tav. That's the top letter, and the bottom letter is a hey. No, I one, want to talk about the top. The top. The one with the dot in the middle, and the one without the dot in the middle. That's right. Yeah, that's Are a tav. Do both the same? Are they pronounced the same? Yes. Okay. So let's go back. We're not going to go back to page 17. This is the two main differences of when we went to Sephardic from Ashkenazi was the straight little line and the little T as that vowel. It's not Boruch, it's Baruch. The other major change was this letter. It used to be two different letters, the Tav and the Sav. Mm -hmm. That's why we say Bas Mitzvah. That's why we say Sukkis. It made a difference if there was a dot. In the Sephardic, it made no. They ended it all with the T. So we're going to have texts that have a dot or don't have a dot. If you're 70 and older, you're going to say that's an S. One is an S, one is a T. I'm not teaching you that. You explained all of that. I but know. Those letters have the same sound? Yes. yes. But they didn't used to. Okay. But they keep them in the alphabet. Tell you they didn't used to. One would have been an S, one would have been a T. But that's the only dot we don't care about anymore. Same exact sound as a T. Why don't they get rid of it already? It's you. <laughs> because the Bible, because the text had the old letters. I don't know. Go go complain to God. And and the <laughs> it's in the Torah. So so that dot yeah, I know it's in the Torah. So right. you can't worry about when you see a Tav. That's the only time we don't care there's a dot or no dot. Every other time the B had the belly button, the cough and the cough, one had a dot. There's a bunch of them that have the dots that make a difference. The only one that does not is the top. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so let's take a very quick look at 33. You know all those letters. Aleph, Ayin, Hey, Yud, Kaf, Final chaf, mem, final men, nun, final nun, bet, lamed, kuf, resh, shin, tab, tab, dalid, kuf, uh, tzadi. And the vowels are e, e, a, a, e, a, a, o, o, u, u. Yes, I have another question. Yeah? I'm so we're here for. Sorry about that. On the last line, one, it's a kuf. Correct? It's a kuf. Yes, it's a kuf. On line two, the second to the last letter, what is that? It's a kuf. I said it differently. It's a both kufs. Why they put they it in. I have no idea why. Okay. You caught it. Yeah, you caught it. I have no idea why. Okay. Okay. I was just confused. Uh, I, yes, I would be too. All right, Margie, You're I have welcome. a question. So sure. my big problem is, is, and probably a lot of people is, it, it, it's if you don't learn the name of the letter and you learn its sound, it's fine, correct? If you never learn the name of a letter and you learn- You're all, This is reading Hebrew. No one's right. asking you to spell it. But right. to me, it's kind of, if I'm trying to say to you, it's the wrong sound. It's easy for me to say, no, that's a tab, not a hey. Yeah, you, but. Know the names of the letters, because I, I don't want to just say that's a tab, not a hook. I right. want you to know, oh, that's the tab, that's not a hey. That's why I'm teaching you the names of the letters. But for intensive purposes, for somebody like me, who's a flunky, it's, you know. <laughs> you say you're not flunking this class. You can't no, get easy. But, yeah, but, you <laughs> yeah. know. No, but I think it, you should know the names of the letters so that if you had to correct yourself, you as could. I say, I could say, no, no, that's the iron, that's not the aleph, or that's that's a tzadi, that's not the iron. How else am I going to say it to you? That's a tzadi, not a... Right. Margie, you're, you're correct. Would you do me a favor? Would you slowly just read the alphabet one more time? At this the top or the whole alphabet? No, just on page 33, starting with the Aleph. So let me do it slowly. Aleph. Yes. Ayan. Both silent. Hey. Yud. Chaf. Final Chaf. Mem. Little mountain. 
final mem. Nun, final nun. Bet, lamid, poof. Second line, raish, shin. Tav, tav. Dalit, poof, study. Okay. Okay, and just keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing. Okay. Let's go to the next page. And I'm gonna try to make this in English. Okay, in may fact, I ask one more question? Yes, you can ask anything. Thank you. The bet at the top of the line, the third from the left. Yeah. The bet. Does it matter whether there's a dot in the middle or not? Yeah. Letter, it makes a difference if there's a dot except the top. It's because without the dot, it has it's a vet. Uh, okay. we didn't right. get to that. Yeah, right, this right. Is so without the dot, it's a vet. It's a vet. It's a vet. And we didn't learn pay and say yet. Every time there's a dot, it makes a difference except the letter top. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. There is a website, if you promise not to laugh, it's called, what's it called? Hebrew for Christians. We're not laughing at that. I, I enjoy that website. <laughs> when I want to find an easy way to explain things, it's HebrewForChristians.com. When you want to find an easy, easy way to explain something, there can't be an easier website than explaining things to Jews. The same as if they're fighting to a Christian, they can explain it to a Jew. So if you, if you, I'm gonna send, I took a picture, a screenshot of this page so I can send it to you. The Shiva is the only vowel I'm gonna name by name because it's so, tough to understand that there are five exceptions to the rule. I can tell you simply that the up and down dot is called a Shiva. And you can see it on page 34, it's unit five. Mm -hmm. it, it says it shortens the vowel. What does that mean in English? I'm not really sure. When I had it as the first, with the first letter, remember I said, kind of make it like it's an apostrophe, like the word the neighbor, so if the bed had a, a, it would be like bit, like an I in pink. That's why you need a pink crayon. So you got that when it's the first letter, it's going to be that kind of an is sound. Me, li, bi, hi, di, ri, whatever, pick a letter. That's an easy rule. First letter, you hear it as that like short I-ish, you know, that short vowel. When it's the last letter, it's also easy. It's always silent. Why it's put in as the last letter if it's silent makes no sense. But again, all the silent times, why does the H have no sound when it's in the ends of a word? It's silent. That's the only thing I can tell you, it's silent. What makes it complicated is when it's in the middle of a word. Sometimes you hear it and sometimes you don't. Beginning, you hear it. Heiko, Joe, the veterinarians. Oh, make sure the pet is okay. You got to mute. That's um, okay. Gotta, I can't. When, oh, that's all right. Tell them you can't talk that, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I promise. Okay. Right? When there are two, le word, two letters in a row that have it, now I'm gonna look at this page. Just let me get out of the room. That's okay, that's okay. But this is important. Um, this one only has when it's silent and when it sounds. Uh, let me just read this here because I'm gonna send it to you. When there are two in a row, the first will be silent and the second one you're gonna hear. Don't worry about it, I'm gonna send you this thing and they're gonna be examples. There's another example, it doesn't make any sense, I'm not gonna bother with you. 
when it follows a long vowel, which again, there it gets complicated because there are going to be times I'm going to say you say it and there are times you, you just don't. I can't explain it any better than saying there's five times you hear it and, one, and, and sometimes you don't. So for our purposes right now, I wish I could share this with you, but I can't. All right, let's take a look at when you hear it. I'm going to send you an email, all right? I'm going to send you that email. Let's take a look at line, page 34, line one. Biraka. You hear the sound of the Shiva as a short, like, I sound. Biraka. Sidaka. Birit. Ma ke do sha. So you heard me kind of do that short little eyeish sound, right? Got a line two. Li sha lom. Li ha. Li hu. Ni ra ni na. So there you have it. Look at this last word in line two. The ni, the not, the nun, you hear it. So it's ni. The second syllable is ra. ra. But then you have the nun, another nun that has the shiva. But we know it's ni, it's not ni, ran, not. Oh, how do I? It's so hard to explain this to everybody. It's, I hate this unit. Is it just exceptions over exceptions? Niranina. Niranina. Anina. You hear every, in these examples, we're going to hear the sound of the Shabba. Just trust me. Nirana. When you don't is line four. Mal. Ahi. I'm sorry, ache, pardon me, ache. El Yon. I don't know how to explain it any better. I, I really don't know how to explain it any better. When it's the beginning, you hear it. When it's the last, you don't. And there's okay. lots of questions when it's in the middle of the word. Question. Could you yeah. just read line three? Just read it slowly. Ma leche. Now, why isn't it if it was connected ma leche? It just isn't. It okay. just isn't. Okay. Ha mela him. Okay. Ba rechuni. Say that one again. Ba rechuni. But some people could say barhuni. It's not wrong or right. It's just the minhag. I, 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 there are times it just is pronounced that way, and there are times it isn't. Rechuni. Say Rechuni. to him. I'm, again? Say to him. Take the phone. He. Did it be kid shanu, but we know it isn't. It just isn't, isn't it? It's like an exception in English. Why is it pronounced that way? It just it is. Kid shanu. Margie, are they real words? Well, kid is. Yeah, I know, but some of them aren't, right? That you would never say. Uh, I'm lucky. Kuni is. Say to him is. Yeah, I I'm like, yeah, they're real words. Malachi. Okay. They are real words, all yeah. of those suckers. Yes, they are. So that last line, it that last word is Kidishanu. 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 And you say it ever, and all of those you say it. And all of those you say it. Okay. Kidishanu. Uh, okay. Right. And then there's now it says when it's silent, but why is it silent? I have no idea because when it followed a letter in the line three, 
we separated it. But in line four, it's saying don't. It's malache. But why isn't it malache? Because it isn't. I, also I don't have an answer. I'm asking you a question. In line three, it looks like ma is a separate word from lachem. Well, that on purpose to have you say it. If you saw it, the malche, malche, it's a real word. Yeah, no, I know it is, but it's just like here, it looks like it, ma is a separate word from the rest of it. They gave it to us and we made sure we said it. But if you just looked at that, you would say why? Mm -hmm. Say it again, Judy. They give it a syllable, mal. They gave it a syllable. They wanted us to separate it. But if we look, and let's be honest, look at line four. It's no different. Right. But except, wait, here's the difference. Here's the difference. I, I just remembered that rule on the Christian thing. Line four, there are two letters together that have the Shabbat. Right. So the First one is silent, and the second one you do it to. That's mm -hmm. one of the rules in the Christian for Jews, Jews for Christians, whatever that thing, Hebrew for Christians. When you have two letters together, the first time is Shabbat is silent, and the next one you say it. So look at line four, the first word. You don't give the Lamed and the Aleph. This is why I teach the letters. The Lamed and the Aleph both have Shabbat's. Mm -hmm. So the Lamed's going to be silent, mal. mal. And the second one, you're going to say, ah, well, you're going to say, ah, hey. You're going to say the ah anyway. Mal, ah, hey. Mal, ah, hey. Mm -hmm. L, again, silent. It's a, and then yon. Mal, ah, hey, el, yon. Baruch. Don't wait. Tell me, I don't even ask why the Shabbat is inside the fi final letter. Just ignore it. Melech. No, no. It's silent. It's at the end of a word. Why they shoved it in there, none of us care. I don't know. But it's the end of a word, so we don't care at all because it's silent anyway. Mm -hmm. But two together, that's a good one of those good rules. Two together, silent the first. Now it's now in the second letter, you sound it. That's the way it's in English. There yes. you go. The first right. one does the walking, and the second one does the talking. That's the talking. So, so great I'm talk. gonna leave this as we are now. We're going to review page thirty-four. The next time, I will let you know within hopefully within an hour or two if Julia can cover this class next week or somebody else. Um, but we're in the middle of the Shabbat. It's the hardest thing to comprehend because it's all exceptions, let's be honest. All right? And yeah, it, it's, and then we'll, we have a couple more letters to learn and we're gonna be done with the letters. Yes, Judy. Okay. At the bottom in the, in the rectangle, it says the Shema shortens the vowel. And then you have three vowels down there. Do they have sounds? Uh, it's uh, uh, eh. I don't know how you shorten it any shorter. I, I don't. Uh, eh. It's uh, 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 eh, those vowels. Eh. I, I don't know what it means to shorten something when you're saying it. Okay. Look at the third word on line seven. It's adon, like adon alum. Adon. So you do uh, uh, quickly. I guess you do it quickly. Like, ah, uh, maybe it's where the syllable gets the, you know, it's it's not adon, uh, it's adon. Uh, you shorten it. Maybe well, the that's accent the accent goes. You talk and you know, goes. Right. When you it, it's, uh, no, no. So right. So look at line seven on the third word. It's adon. It's a short version of the ah. Uh. It's not adon. And actually, in Hebrew, the most of, most of these syllables that are the second syllable anyway. Yeah, it's Yiska, it's Shali. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. On line seven. The third I, word. I said it's Adon. Oh, we are, uh, maybe I'm not even on the same page. Page um, 30 for our line seven, third word. Yeah. Ah is shortened, so it's not Adon, it's Adon. I got it. Like a Adon. Adon. 
Okay? Alechem, Malache, Adon, El, that O, that O vowel for the Lamed is right there. It looks like it's the top of the H, the hey, but it's not the Lamed's O. Do you see it? El, Lo, Hey, Line seven, fourth word. Take a good look at it, everybody. Line it's seven on page 34. Yes, line 734. I'm just reading that line to you all. Go ahead. The first word, it's e lo he nu. Yes, sweetie. A share. A share. A share. It's almost like the Shabbat isn't doing anything on those words. I, uh, I agree with you, Rosalind. It's it's like, why is it bothered? Again, why is it there? I have no idea. Let's I will just finish this up for you. I'll read it to you because you don't okay. have to go right okay. now. Let me read you the last line. Baruch Ata. And I'm mm. gonna teach that that is Adonai, but it doesn't want us to waste the time of saying God's name, but I don't want to screw you up. Mm -hmm. And hey no. Mm -hmm. Mela. Ha o lam a share. All right. So I would just, if I were you guys, follow the rules on this page. Don't worry about the exceptions and just practice when you say it. It's it's guiding you that in line one, two, three, you say it, and 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 line four and five, it's silence. So just practice it with these rules. I'm gonna okay. send you an email of that, like the rules, rules. And I'm going to find you a substitute. If I can't, I'll let you know as well. Okay, so okay. If that's good. Have a wonderful Shabbat, the rest of the holiday, Shemitah Teretz, and Shemitah Torah this Shabbat week. Shalom. Margie, and, Margie yes, make a note mentally or that you won't see me until that first Friday in November. We're going to Hawaii on Wednesday. Oh. No, excuse me, they have phones in Hawaii. Have a fabulous time. So I'll see you all in November. Bye, everybody. All Bye. right. Bye, Bye. everybody. Honey, did you have a Bye. question? You're good? Okay. Bye, ladies. I'm going to go call Julia right now. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.